Hi, Virgo. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. This is not usually like me. For those of you that have been on the channel for a few years, you'll know this is not very typical, but I thought I would do something a little festive. So, yeah, you guys know the drill. It's for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. These are general and timeless readings. Keep that in mind. Um, yeah, all information down below in my description box. You guys can check that out there. But more importantly, just want to take an extra special time to thank each and every one of you for all the support, for your views, for just being here at all. I appreciate it more than I can really express. So just wanted to say that. And let's dive in here. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so the first card that kind of flipped out, if you guys saw, we have nothing, no thing. It, there's a blank space. So there's some kind of pause in energy or there's this space in between or, or this is like nothing is happening. Okay. There's, there's no movement taking place. Whether that's good or bad, it might actually be a good thing. And then we have the everydayness and seeker. Okay. It feels as though you could be... It's almost like things are going back to normal. There's some kind of space or something is kind of slowing down or... Um, things are as is again, everydayness, the everyday norm. And the seeker card is that now you could be seeking something, but it's also connected to another because you see how both they're always, whenever I get this card, it's like there could be conversation happening between you and another person. There's a seeking for something. Let's see. Let's get into details. Okay, I shall take them. Oh, there's the action. Okay, so this is why it's kind of happening. We have the Dawn of Swords, which is, I believe, the Knight of Swords. This is reflection and diligence. So that's what it feels like. If you're dealing with an air sign, they're in reflection mode from whatever happened. Okay, could be slowing things down, but there will be action. There's the Ace of Wands, okay. There's a person that is taking time to reflect and there's going to be space. And there's like going back to the normal or going back to everyday normal things. And then there will be some kind of interaction or someone takes action, so. Pretty straightforward. Let's just see if we can get details on it. Hmm. Okay. Virgo. So for those of you that listened to the All Signs reading recently, it's actually kind of important because you had something like the Psyche and you have, all right, here's the Page of Swords, not too far off from this Dawn of Swords. And then we have Eight of Wands. So there's going to be like messages that take place here. And then we have the Three of Swords. Okay. All right. There's a person here that's coming into the realization that through communications, there was like, they're experiencing some kind of pain. There's a person coming to a realization about it, but it happened through a connection with another. There's a person that's realizing that they interconnected with someone's pain. So we have the strength card. <laughs> okay, we have 
the Five of Wands, the Two of Swords. Ah, uh, the World card. Okay. I have to scooch these down because I like there to be room. Okay. Hopefully you can see all those. I'm going to put these in a particular placement. We have the King of Swords. Could be dealing with a highly intelligent or inquisitive person, but that also could be you. There's something specific that you could be listening for. And then we have the Four of Wands, which is the final outcome. That could be holiday celebrations. That's, it could be someone's birthday, but um, that also can be a union that is coming together. Okay, this is what I think happened. Page of Swords is like an inkling, and that's taking place within someone that you interacted with. There's a person here that's coming to a realization, and what's tricky about this situation, there's a person that might want to come towards you with conflict, or like... Maybe not happy because there's a realization about something recently that someone went through that it was like interconnected somehow. Like if, if someone could have taken on someone else's pain or fragmentation or whatever someone went through recently, if this was you, Virgo, it's, this is like something that you are interconnected with on another person. There's this pain body, you know, Eckhart Tolle's talking about pain bodies. There's a person that still has a pain body that is in existence from some kind of experience where they felt discriminated against or they felt excluded or triangulated against, excluded specifically, ostracized for whatever it was about them. It could have been like worldly things or whatever this is. There's a person here that went through a huge battle and might and still is in the process of trying to close up the cycle emotionally, psychologically, energetically, in every way. It's quite a challenge, but this person is going through a little bit of a struggle because of this two of swords. There's a person that might feel like there's there's insight coming into a person. It, it could be you, Virgo. You could be coming into insights about a connection with a particular energy. And if you have an enlightened person, that, which is, I'm a little hopeful that you have the King of Swords because this person would be highly intelligent and there's like full knowledge is going to take place. But this person, there's like actions or this can be messages. Messages are coming through occasionally, whenever. And then there is time for reflection. And in that space is when information comes in. That's the Page of Swords. It's like insights just hit this person in a no space. And there's a realization about... Th this would be a person that if they were to come towards you toward conf with conflict, because this person at first, whatever they receive, they're going to want to come towards you and, or you might want to go towards them. If this is, this can, this whole situation can be this double-sided frustrating situation because it would almost be like, if a person comes towards you with conflict, they would really be maybe a hypocrite. There's this really deep lesson with the world card about like a person, if they were to come toward you and be upset with you, they really do the same thing. So you could be receiving a message from a person who's struggling with some kind of wound. They got really tested here with the strength card. Like it's possible they went into a situation and their perseverance, their character was tested. This person had to maintain themselves even though they wanted to blow up. 
every time I get the strength card, it's like a person that wants to, like maybe become enraged or stalk the situation. It's more of an animalistic impulse or nature that can come over and wash over a human like that. Mammal, the reptilian brain, when it switches into action, you have these drives and impulses that are so impulsive to the core of you as a human. And... To be able to maintain that is where strength of character is defined. And it says, this person is very strong. They went through a situation and there's just this realization here. The good news is whatever this was that took place, there is going to be news or communication that everything is finalized. If there were still financial things wrapping up, if you were dealing with any kind of legal energy, or if they were, see, it's, I have to show you this, because I just flipped the deck upside down, and the moon was on the bottom. The reason why I, the only reason why I pull that is because of that psyche card I mentioned at the beginning that I pulled in your guys' sign for the all signs. You got connected with someone's psyche. This is the subconscious. And that can happen if you become really deeply encompassed, and, and especially for those of you Virgos that are more empathic, but if you became like really invested in someone's energy, you linked up and created a bond with them. And it's not like you pick and choose the energy that you're linked to when you hook up with a person. You get linked to everything about them. You get linked to their integrity, their pain, like everything that the, a person is going through. So, which, depending on the person or the situation, that can be a good or a bad thing. You're dealing with a person obviously very strong, so it's saying that they always have the strength to overcome challenges and situations, which like, is probably reflective of you. So even though you're linking up to maybe someone's challenges, you will become this in the process. So it's saying that you also went through this at some degree. I don't know when or the timing of it, but it's saying that there's there's celebration here with the Four of Wands. There's an opportunity to come into union or celebrate. Some of you guys might be getting married, okay? But this person might be a little bit more stiff. <laughs> I'll say that. Like, King of Swords to me is a very serious, no play, intense kind of person. They just analyze everything and they're more like factual, detached they prefer to kind of be that way because it's it's more simple than becoming really interconnected. So if you're dealing with a person here that's a little bit like, it's because they're trying to process this. There's a person here that went through, this could have been you, Virgo, like this situation that literally made you curl up like a vulnerable child. That's wrapping up. The close is finally here. Really interesting. Man, you got the fire right there. Always these interconnections. But, yeah. Think, I think there's going to be a full awareness as things progress here. So there's time and space between interactions, communication, messages that come in, and... I think that also if you've got someone, if you've got like a legal person, they, they might go into a situation and this could be very frustrating because they're dealing with a person. Like if you have a attorney or something, you're, they're dealing with a person here that shifts, like they shape shift into different versions. And this person might get like, they might be going into the conflict for you and you're staying outside of it. Which I think is good to acknowledge like your level of education or whatever to go into the situation. But more importantly, your sensitivities. Because your sensitivities, even though you 
you might also be taking on this detached quality, but you still have this underlying sensitivity toward energies and situations, okay? But new action celebration is on the way, just FYI. So you could be waiting on an answer. So let me dive into the extended. <laughs> we'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But Virgo, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.